Hey YouTube, this is Technolocker here with a video tutorial on how to get Ice Cream Sandwich version 4.0.3 onto your Samsung Captivate. Now, before I start this video, I must mention a couple things. First off, this ROM is in beta, which means that it will have bugs, so I'd be, I'd be watchful of that, and if you see a bug, then you can report it to the developer. Second thing is that I'm running the stock version of the phone of the software that came with the phone. So if you're running any other raw or any other ROM, it would it this will probably work. But if you have issues, I would use Odin and flashback to stock, which I'll get to in a minute. So so to start the video I want to show you this website which is where you'll actually get the ROM. Uh, so after you download the ROM, which is build thirteen by the way and it is still in beta as I mentioned earlier so you, there will be bugs, that's why it's build 13 out of uh, there's been in work in progress for a bunch of months so after you download the ROM from either of these two websites then you gotta download the Google Apps version if you want to use Gmail and you know the Google Services apps that you'll normally use um, so after you download Google Apps 7.1 which by the way is optional um, so you don't have to, but I, I would recommend it. After you download that, you want to open Odin point one point a two, which is the only version I would use. So I wouldn't look on the internet for a different version uh, because you might get messed up. So make sure, even if you haven't used this before, that you hit reset. And the first thing you want to do is you want to hit PDA and hit the Galaxy S bootloader or gingerbread bootloaders which is this file right here so after you open that you want to uh, get, get your phone into download mode which involves pressing the volume up and down and putting the power cord in at the exact same time and you are in download mode. Now, once you get into download mode, you want to, and and it, by the way, it should say zero com five in the yellow box. And after you it hits that, you want to make sure that auto reboot and f reset time is checked. And after you hit that, you want to hit start. Now all it's doing is flashing a small file, which is the bootloader, onto your phone. And after it says pass. It gives you the go ahead to unplug your device and do a battery pull like so. Once you do a battery pull, put the back cover back on and whatever you need. And after you do that, you want to hit reset because you need to flash another file. The second file that you need to flash is the Talon file. Now you hit PDA again. You scroll down to where it says Tal Talon Dev 0 0.16. Click on that. Click Open. And once you hit Open, it'll do the same thing as it did before. And I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but before you before you hit the the town file, you want to hit reset right here, which will reset the Odin for you. So after you do that, there's a different way of putting your phone in download mode, which which you need to do again. And that method is holding down on your volume button and putting and, and the power and putting the cable in. That will turn your phone into download mode. Now once you are in download mode once again, you and it says 0 com 5 on the yellow box, you want to hit start once again. And you'll get a progress bar along there. And what do you know? It's complete. So after it says pass up in this corner, 
That gives you the go ahead again to unplug your device, take the battery out, and then put it back in real quick. Well, it doesn't have to be quick, but. And then once you do that, we are done for, we are done with Odin. Now we move on to the next step. Okay, so now that you have put the tar file, talon file, and the gingerbread bootloaders on here, you are now ready to flash the ROM. So if you haven't done so already, you should put the, the ROM on your phone before you begin this process. Because if you don't have the ROM on your SD card, internal SD card, there's no way for you to get it on your phone. The way you do that is you get in the clockwork mod recovery, which you hold down the power button and the up button at the same time. Now you wait a sec until it gets into clockwork mode. Now after it gets into clockwork mode, you need to go down to where it says mounts and storage. Click on that. And where it says mount USB storage, click on that. And by the way, the way that I'm navigating this is I'm using the volume up keys to go up and the volume down keys to go down. And once you want to select something, you hit the power button and you'll select it. So after I hit mount USB storage, if you haven't done this already, you'll go in there and you will plug your phone in and do all that stuff the same way you would as if you had an actual ROM on this phone already. So go back after you've done that, put the ROM on your phone before you hit go back then you want to hit install zip from SD card now the first zip you want to install is obviously the ice cream sandwich zip the ice cream sandwich zip is the one that says team hacksung captivate captivate mtd ota eng dot build 13 or whichever build you are currently flashing um, at the time. So, so then you want to click on that. Yeah, click on that. And by the way, if you see this um, other one up here, it says ICS 4.0.3 uh, RC2 point dot eleven that was an earlier build that I had downloaded so I, I wouldn't worry about that if you see that. So choose Team Hacksung build thirteen. Then scroll down to where it says yes. And I don't know why there's so many no's there. It does that every time. I have I, I can't still can't figure that out. So then you hit install Team Hacksung Captivate M T D O T A. Yada yada yada. Finding out update package. Open up update package, installing the update. And you get a little uh, yellow progress bar down below. And it should reboot. It'll look like this. We'll say Cheyenne Jamon because this is actually a root source uh, file that was. It's like a it's a beta version of the Clockwork mod that when that that they will I think they will release soon to the captivity. But for now, we're stuck with the beta because they're not finished yet. So it'll say installing update. You should get this green little 3D green, uh, green Android guy. Has little blue marks on him. And you see this, and the you get a different colored progress bar that almost looks ICS itch uh, ish because it's it has the sort of blue tint that is you uh, that is seen as a lot in ICS. So this will take a certain amount of time and I will be back when it is finished. So now I'm getting the boot animation which looks like this. This will be a pretty time taunting process and from what I've seen from flashing this once, uh, you may need to flash it twice but we'll see how this goes this round.
So once you go through the boot animation, you are through installing 4.0.3 onto your Samsung Captivate. Now there will be another video on how to use this and just the overall features of the ROM. So stay tuned for that.